Ever wondered why new GPS performs so much better than old GPS and you want to make sure that your sales reps is not yanking your chain? Well, in this video, that's exactly what we're going to cover. The reason that new GPS works so much better is the satellites and the constellations that it can see. See, a constellation is an incredibly important thing that we're going to describe in this video. We're also going to talk about why new GPS can see more satellites than old GPS. We're going to talk about frequencies and what's better at penetrating through the trees. So let's jump into it. So a lot of our customers that phone in will always ask us, what is a constellation and why does it matter to a surveyor? Well, a constellation is a group of satellites that's owned and operated by some government entity or a military enterprise or SpaceX, that kind of a thing. Now, here in North America, there's really four that we care about. GPS, which was made by the US military. GLONASS, which was made in response to GPS. Galileo, which is from the European Union, is more of an open source uh, satellite system. And then finally, Beidou, which is made by China. Now, all of these satellites have different frequencies and they can be used and utilized by different receivers. So the question you need to know is what receiver should you buy to use the satellites that you need to do your job effectively. Let's get into it. So satellites in the modern setting, they've really had three iterations. So first, was block one satellites. Those were the initial satellites that went up for civilian use. A lot of those are decommissioned. They've come out of the sky. Uh, we don't see a whole lot of them. The second is block two satellites. Those are still widely used by a lot of uh, GPS receivers and can be functional, especially in the GPS constellation system. Now, the newest upgrade is block three satellites, and those are the best satellites. A couple of reasons for that. One is there's ton of them in comparison. You know, there's still relatively few, you know, compared to the amount of people on the earth. But in comparison to what we had before, there's a ton of satellites. The second thing that's really helpful is the frequencies were specifically designed and researched so that they could penetrate through canopy and through large building cover and things of that nature. So if you have a new receiver, you are more able to get fixes in difficult areas because the satellites that you're communicating with are actually better satellites than that of previous generations. It's not solely the receiver that you have is better, has a better radio, has a better board or something like that. It's also the ability to see better satellites with better frequencies and more satellites. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through each receiver for block one, two, and three, and we'll see what the best receiver is now. So satellites have had a lot of upgrades as we just talked about, but the receivers that go hand in hand with those satellites have also changed a lot. And the reason for that is receivers that were built back in the day could only see the satellites that were made at that time. So as new satellites are introduced, the receivers become outdated and they can't see as many frequencies as the new technology. So if we're working from our oldest technology to our newest technology, first thing that we have is the Hemisphere S320. This can only see GLONASS and GPS, L1, L2. Now, that was great back in the day. It actually, it was all the satellites that were available to civilians. But now, with so many more satellites, this has become a little obsolete for anything that has difficult surroundings or tree lines. So, if we're moving forward in time, the next satellite system that was introduced allowed systems like this this is the Hemisphere S321 to see more frequencies. So this can see Galileo, GLONASS, and GPS for L1, L2, and on GPS, L5. So a great system if you're working in open fields, you're setting up fences, you're doing corners, things like that. But if you're in those really ruggedized terrains, or if you're in an urban environment, you're gonna struggle. Now, with the newest technology, the Hemisphere S631, this is where you're gonna have quintuplet it frequencies. You're going to have the most frequencies available to you. So you're going to have Beidou, GPS, Galileo, and GLONASS. That's all in this. So a helpful tip when you're looking at buying a new GPS GNSS receiver is look at the frequencies that it has available to it. So three things you really want to look for is does it have L5 capability? Does it have L1C capability? And when you're looking at the Beidou satellites that it sees, you want it to be able to see at least five 
five. That's gonna tell you that it has the new Block 3 satellites for Beidou up there, and it's gonna give you the best fixes in difficult situations. So, when you're looking at a new receiver, pay attention to those three things, or give me a call, and I'll tell you which one's the best for you. So, in conclusion, we talked about what a constellation is, what some frequencies that you should pay attention for when you're getting new GPS receivers, and why some receivers are better than others, not simply because of the technology that's within the receiver, but also from what satellites it can see. So give me a call if you wanna talk about what the advantage of getting a new GPS receiver that can see more satellites would be, and if it's the right fit for you and your company. My number is 587-844-5838. I'm Rayal with Benchmark.